Welcome to my wild camping experience. I've brought far too much kit with me today. Oh, that's nice. I've actually been wandering around this site for a couple of hours now. Finding these little posts for pitches is like finding little gems, little diamonds in the wilderness. I didn't fancy that one because there's literally nowhere to pitch me tent. Well, I found another spot further along. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Whoops, I can't do that. But the weather's been absolutely dreadful. Don't think I'll be pitching me tent here either. Or here. really needs to dry out a bit to appreciate it properly. What I did earlier, I went through here. This is a composting toilet, by the way. Very nice. Just in case a person needs some facilities. Or they take your boots on the way. Did you want to look inside? I bet you do, don't you? I bet you're curious. Come on. I'll treat you. There's nobody in there, I don't think. Hello. Big reveal. There you go. All mod cons. Beautiful job. I was kind of smitten with this pitch here. We've got a flattish piece of ground. I said flattish. This is wild, people. This is wild. As wild as I want to get for a minute. But it's a bit kind of... and the foot so that was a possibility the last option available to me around here was just here and that's where the, the deer were and they ran up and went off it's a bit wetter here if it rains in the night and i'm on the inflatable mat uh, I might end up lilo surfing down there, what do you think? <laughs> so I reckon we're going to spend the night next to our new friend, the beautiful tree. For me today was about coming along and trying, trying different things that I don't usually do. Get a bit of experience, shall we say. And also use items that I don't usually use because it's so easy just to get comfortable using the same kit over and over again. Time for a bit of tarpology. Lovely job. Let's have a quick tour of my gaff for the night. I won't lie to you, it's a mess. 
<laughs> but it's doing what I wanted it to do. This is a 4x4 tarp. Now, I've made a pyramid style thing before with a 3x3, but not a 4x4. It's kind of a different animal. It takes a lot more, a lot more pegging out, a lot more strength required, just in case it gets a bit windy. And inside, I've got a tent inner, which I'm using as a bug net this evening. Let's get you in. And I shall be in that bad boy, safe from the bugs. And I've got acres and acres of space. I know what you're probably thinking. You're probably thinking, he's got a tent inner inside a great big tarp and they don't go together. Well, it doesn't really matter. Because this is my wildlife Glastonbury. The beauty of doing this is I've just been back to the car to have a sort out and get some food. I did actually bring a couple of cooking setups for today, so I wanted to try them. As I said, things that I don't usually use. And uh, I thought it would be good to try them out. As time's getting on, we're just going to go for gas. My plan was to fry some bacon, then fry paneer in the bacon fat, throw in some vegetables, throw in some basil and boil up a load of water for some Raymond noodles. I'm not quite sure how far we're going to get with this, but uh, let's get the bacon on anyway. Lovely bacon. Today I've learnt that these cheap poles that I bought from Amazon, I bought two of them, they're not very good. Don't go buying those. I just like to say, great job, Silver Ant. These titanium pegs, I've been putting them in, I was like, you can see this little peg's just falling out. They're really, really chunky boys. You put them in, I should have had me adapt a thing really to press them in. But they oh, really hold in the ground well. I think I put a few more about just in places, like on the corner there. He's not going anywhere. So, uh, from what I'm doing here, yeah, they're absolutely brilliant. I really wanted this a bit crispier. I had too much in the pan. But never mind. Paneer cheese. It's a bit bland and a bit boring. That's why I thought I'd throw in a load of bacon. Oh, try not to lose him. That'll do, time for veg. Nearly lost it. Just brought it back to me what it's like to cook in the dark and when you're out and about and you don't have all the luxuries I'm on the slope by the way can you see this going when you don't have all the luxuries of campsites etc come back he's looking beautiful it's easy to understand why people, if they go away, they do this sort of thing out in nowhere. 
I say nowhere, I'm next to a road, but nowhere. That the, uh, you know, you've just got your boiling, your bag, meals or whatever. I like to be a bit different. Let me know in the comments, what's your kind of preferred method of cooking when you're out away from all the comforts of home? Do you prefer real food or the uh, dehydrated stuff? Let's get the bacon and cheese in. There's far too much bacon for one person. And far too much butter. I've just cranked the gas up a bit. You don't get the gas pressure the same in these butane cans as what you do in the um, isobutane propane mix. Little bit of basil. Put the lid on just to let him wilt a bit. If I can find it. Where are you lid? There he is. Let's dish up. In fact, I know what we we'll do. We we'll just dish up a little bit in the hope that the rest will stay nice and warm in the bowl. It's going to be a bit salty, I think. The flavour from the bacon and the butter has made the paneer cheese, which is usually bland, taste absolutely divine. Mm. Mixed in with spring onions and basil. It's a winner. <coughs> Or worse. This is absolutely lovely. Just being sat out, surrounded by woodland, little animals. I've got beautiful food and a shot of the good stuff. Life's good. Right, I'm ready for seconds. See if she kept some heat in. <laughs> That's the way forward. I've probably eaten more butter today than what I have for weeks. But you know what? I don't care. I'm enjoying myself. It's been absolutely beautiful listening to the bird song. All right, I've tried to cut out the sound of aeroplanes and cars behind me. But apart from that, it's been absolutely amazing. Well, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I was going to get the kettle on and then tidy everything up while it's boiling. I was going to have a coffee to finish up, but I've had a change of plan. We're going to go for a drinking chocolate. I plan on getting into bed quite soon.
there's not much to do. It's getting cold and it's damp. Not sure how well it comes out, but everything's starting to get really, really wet and damp. <laughs> That's the joys of being out in the wild, people. Considering that butane can shouldn't really go together with these bits, it's done a exceedingly good job. Not a lot of pressure though. I'll give you a proper look around as it's dark. I actually did wonder if it was worth bringing a 4x4 tarp. But when you think I've got two backpacks in there, that's an 80 litre backpack, that's a 100 litre backpack. And I've also got my tent squared away in here. The space is just unbelievable, isn't it? This is just mental. So I'm really glad that I made the effort to put it up. It was well worth it. Me drinking chocolate, still hot. I know taking a double walled mug is maybe more weight. Although this is titanium, it saves a few grams. But it does keep things hotter for longer. So for me, there's nothing worse than you got a hot drink and you pour it out into something and five minutes later it's cold. It seemed pointless heating it up in the first place. <laughs> I had actually forgotten how awkward it is to sleep in a little tiny tent and just get yourself organised. <laughs> I've been wriggling around like a demented caterpillar. Back with me, Mark's expensive long johns tonight. Oh. And some warm socks. It's supposed to get down to about five Celsius tonight. That's okay. I'll be nice and toasty and warm in here. I'll be uncomfortable. It's just like lumpy's not the word. This isn't like campsite camping. Forgotten about all this. <laughs> There's blooming lumps and bumps everywhere. <laughs> It'll be fine. I'm out of practice on the reverse as well. These little tents you got to reverse into. <laughs> I'm trying to reverse into me bag. It's not working. <clears throat> oh. There we go. <laughs> oh, the joys of camping. I think I'm in. Although if I stop for a second, I'll kind of slide down this way. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling this is not going to be a good night? When I started, my air mat was all the way up to the top there, on the foam mat underneath. And now, let's move you around. Yeah. That's the end of the foam mat, and that's the end of the air mat. This is, oh, there's a lump there. This is not going to go well. <laughs> Let's try and shuffle up. Oh. 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 That didn't work very well. I think this is about as comfortable as what I'm going to get. Which is shoved up against the entrance doorway. Just there. Ideally, I'd like the bottom of my bed to be at that far end every time I move. I keep going south. 
on that note i'm going to try and get some sleep and i'll see you in the morning good morning everyone welcome to a beautiful day I stayed all toasty and warm in my microclimate last night. And the only issue I had, I'll do this with a no bulb, was the slope. I literally could not get comfortable on that because I kept sliding down and the only the only thing that stopped me sliding off down the hill was when I got caught up against the netting. So it became jolly uncomfortable. But apart from that, it was a beautiful, a beautiful, peaceful night. tree looks super magnificent as well in the morning. So my pyramid top, he actually did a really good job. Thank goodness it wasn't windy because I'd have probably had all kinds of problems. Oh, there's ice on there this morning. Now, that's amazing. I slept really toasty, and yet there's ice on the outside this morning. That's incredible. Next time I try this, I'm going to simplify things. I bought far too much kit because I wanted to do too many things. I think I'll try and keep it very, very simple next time and save a lot of hassle of carrying all this around. All right, that's me squared away. I left it as I found it. A little top tip, if you're thinking of buying these Hikeman poles to hold things up, then um, they're not very good, these are from Amazon. They kind of all bent and buckled at the top. They're pretty rubbish actually. I wish I hadn't bothered. I thought they'd be good. Thank you, Tree. I've really enjoyed your company. You're amazing. Well, I've really enjoyed that experience. It's been nice to do something a bit different. I think if I was to come here again, I'd probably do like a fireside cook or something. So that'd be quite good. If you like the idea of that, leave a comment, let me know. You might be able to hear it's all starting to defrost under my feet. It's getting a bit squidgy. As an experience, I really enjoyed that. It's a little bit out of my comfort zone. Go out and do something different is the way forward, I think. So if you're sat at home and you're watching this and you're thinking, oh, I wouldn't mind trying that or I wouldn't mind doing whatever it is, something you haven't done before or something you haven't done for a long time, just go out and do it. You've only got one life. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Info shout out.